guys, my name is Kylonia. Welcome if you are new with us. Welcome back if you've been here before. If you've been here before, you've probably seen me get unready a hundred times. And we're gonna do it again because I've changed my routine a little bit and I kinda wanna show you guys the updated version. I got rid of this ingredient in my skincare routine. I don't know how to say it. Um, but somebody in the comment section of another video told me that they believed I had an allergy to it. So I've been cutting it out in my skincare routine and I've noticed a lot of like inflammation going away and like my acne has been really good. So like I'm sticking with it right now. Um, yeah, I just got out of work. So I literally just got home and we are just going to get home and I instantly just want to take all of my makeup off. I'm like, okay, I've looked pretty for the day. Let's uh, get unready. That's always like my go-to. Just take off literally all of my jewelry. This is a little Aries necklace that my sister got for me forever ago. And I really like it because on one half it's like the zodiac sign and the other half is the name. And I'll sit around and like spin it all day long. It's a very nice fidget for me. I have like ADHD. I have ADD technically. But um, I know there's some hyperactive in there somewhere. So I will just go crazy with a little fidget toy. Remember when like the fidget spinners were like a thing? Those always used to like annoy me in some capacity. I was always like, these are stupid. Also, I'm gonna show you guys my cabinet because everyone was really upset that I didn't show it yesterday and I'm sorry. I don't mean to be that person, but I will, I never finish a task to be honest, but it looks so good. It looks so organized now that it's done. I love it. These are all like my everyday essentials and like the bottom shelf is kind of like things I use every once in a while. But I really do like that now it's nice and organized. Um, I am going to get in the shower, but first we're going to remove my makeup with the professional get unblocked cleansing oil from Benefit. I've been using this stuff for forever. This is almost empty and I have another one on backstock. Like I love this stuff so much. It's just so easy to use and I love it. I forgot to put on the headband, but it's too late. I wore the ABH like um, blur stick today. And honestly, I love that foundation stick so much. It's so good. And I feel like lately I haven't been talking about like products to you. And like, I just want you to know there are so many good products out there right now. And I'm such a sucker for. I literally just like just do circle motions until it's all off. And then I'm just going to take a reusable pad. Like cotton pad. They're like, uh, and then I'm just going to like put warm water on it and remove it. It comes off so easy. All that makeup is literally all off my skin now. Like it just makes it cleansing. Like using an oil cleanser first just makes it so easy. Because, like, then I'm just going to go in with, like, my face cleanser and it's done. I am going to hop in the shower. In the shower, I'm going to use my Hello Toothpaste um, with my Quip. I also cleanse my face in my shower. It's, like, my last step. And this is the Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. I've used this forever. I switched for a little bit. And I think that cleanser was also a reason causing me to break out. But this cleanser has been my holy grail for forever. I really like this line. They make high-quality, great stuff. It has like um, strawberry seed and tomato in it and it smells so good and it's also just so good for the skin. But I am just gonna get in the shower and all my products in the shower are still the same. So I'll see you guys when I'm out of the shower. Honestly guys, I just got out of the shower and, and it's not good for me, but I have been washing my hair every day just to try to get this color out of my hair. I'm trying to get it all out so I can do something really fun before Strange Creek. I've talked about Strange Creek a little bit, but it is this Made Freak Festival I'm going to in literally three weeks. So I'm trying to have something really cool and fun done to my hair before then. Just take this microfiber towel. This one is from Curl Smith, and I just kind of dry my hair with it. Uh, microfiber towels are really good because they're not damaging to like the strain on your hair. There are a couple brands that make really good ones, but you could probably just find like cheaper great ones on like Amazon and stuff. I did cleanse my face in the shower. Now I'm going with a toner. This is the HA BHA vitamin C daily toner from Cosrx. I really like Cosrx and my skin really likes them. It always reacts well. Also I like how like in the summer I always want to be bright, right? 
I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm very like I want to be glowy. I want to be bright. I want to be acne free. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I changed my nose ring, and I really like this one. I've never worn it before because it's like big and chunky and it has like a pearl on it. But I really like it and I've gotten lots of compliments. I'm just gonna spray my face with water and go in with my Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid. If you guys have been here for a while, you've heard me, heard me talk about uh, Good Molecules for a very long time because I really like their stuff. And it's really good and it's so, they're so consistent. And that's what I really like. And I really care about brands that are still pretty small and consistent. Like, I just always think they do a very good job on that. I have been noticing that I have, like, acne that's, like, in my skin on my forehead. And it's, like, just a lot of texture. And I don't really know how to get rid of that. Um, I've been, like, exploiting, like, physically and chemically. But if you guys have any suggestions, leave it down below. Because you guys are always on it. And you guys always know what you're talking about. Um, this is the Coco Kind eye cream. It's fine. I don't think I'd buy that eye cream again. But for like 20 bucks, it's fine. I feel like it's been such a crazy week. Like, I just like, don't know what I'm doing lately. And that is like, like I was talking about the other day, right? That's like, so okay. It's so okay that I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm starting to get a little manic. And like, I need to like, catch, I need to like, watch out. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something I'm not gonna want to do. I am then going in with the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Balancing Emulsion Moisturizer. Um, I ran out of my Beacon one and this one was the only one I had on deck um, free of any ingredients that I can't use. So I've been using this one and I really like it. It's a lot thinner than my other one. Um, I personally hate the floral smell but rose is supposed to be really good for your skin. So I can suck it up and it's gonna make my skin better. So far, I really like it. Like it still gives me the hydration I need without it being too thick. Just got done with skincare. I'm in my PJs. Now we're gonna do a little bit more skincare. All I'm doing is putting on the Veen Clarence Acne Medicated Treatment, which is just like a benzoyl peroxide gel. I really like this one because it does dry down. Just kind of putting it on all my targeted spots right now. Have you guys been doing anything crazy lately? Like, I feel like I've just been so crazy lately. I also went on like a three day weekend bender last week. Which like, not a good idea. Did I have fun? Yes. But at what cost, you know? I'm going to put like a thin even layer all over my forehead as well. To hopefully help with like, I don't know if you guys can hear Kenneth is always wanting his mother. Honestly, I feel like my routine at night has been so like chill and mellow lately. Like that's the thing is for me, my days are never consistent, but I feel like I've gotten to the point where like, I know what I like when I come home at night and my nights are always pretty consistent. Kenneth is all the way on top of my dresser. <laughs> Which, if you guys have heard me call it my altar before, that's exactly what it is. Leave Susanna alone. This is Kenneth, as many of you know. He is my child. This is Susanna. This is a bamboo plant I have had since college. I'm very proud of her. All of my friends' bamboo plants have died, except her. When I first got her, she was like this big. And she's gotten so big over time. I'm so proud of her. She's just a sucker. And Kenneth loves to eat her. That's not good. We're not trying to keep that going. Honestly, realizing I'm an adult still and having complete like control over my own life is still such a crazy concept. Cause I'm like, tonight's gonna get wild. I'm gonna watch a movie and then we're gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm like, we're getting crazy tonight. But honestly, like living alone is one of the best things I've ever done for myself. And honestly, it just teaches you so much peace and serenity because it's like you're forced to be alone. There's no other option. And I love that. I love to be alone. It's like my favorite. Do I enjoy people? Yes. Do I love to be alone so much, so much more? 
But I love you guys so much. I will see you all next week. And I hope you all have the best night. Bye.